Welcome to Shape by Faith, a special series led by health and fitness expert Teresa Rowe. Get ready for an entertaining and spirit-led adventure while learning ways you can become fit in your body, mind, and spirit. Now here's Teresa. Go ahead and place the legs out fairly wide for a sumo squat. Bring your arms down in front of you with your palms facing you. Go down into your squat and then bring your arms up. Bring those elbows straight up. Inhale lower and then exhale lift. Just squeeze in between your shoulder blades. Guard your heart above everything else for it determines the course of your life. Isn't that true? Whatever's in your heart, you're gonna act out of, right? good, bad, or ugly. So let's ask God to guard our hearts and to help us and to show us our own hearts, what's in there. All right, breathe. You're working your shoulders and those legs. You're also working the core muscles. Let's do that one more time. All right, now let's place the weights down. On this next one, you're gonna walk up and then walk back. Here's a modification. Walk up and then walk back. All right, now progression, little jog and jog it back. We are God's masterpiece, right? Tell yourself that when you're walking, when you're jogging, you are God's masterpiece. Now your heart rate should be increasing right here, right? It should be. Remember your modification. Walk two, three, four, and then back. And you can also use those arms or you can jog it up and back. Have you told yourself that you're God's masterpiece? Do you know that? Tell yourself that. You were created to do amazing things for the Lord, right? His desires, His way, His timing, His perfection, right? One more. Whew. Okay, grab your weights. And we're gonna bring the legs out really, really wide. And this is called the windmill. So one arm will go across and then press up. Opposite arm crosses and then you go up. All right, so make sure you're staying back in the heels. You're not bothering the knees. You're lowering down, keep the head up and then press. We are more than conquerors through Christ Jesus. Tell yourself that. You are more than a conqueror through Christ Jesus. All right, feel that in the shoulders. Feel that through your waist as you rotate. And again, I love this exercise. It's a total body exercise. Gives those um, legs a nice stretch. Gives that upper body that strength and stability. One more, cross it and bring it up. Okay, this next one is called a curtsy squat. So you're gonna step back with one leg, bring it together and step back other leg. Let's just start this. Now, what I'm gonna do is add some triceps. So just kick them back. Keep the shoulders down, kick those weights back. Now you can go wider or you can keep it more narrow. Stand your ground. Put on the belt of truth and the body armor of God's righteousness, right? Stand your ground, stand in your faith. Be bold and courageous, God's with you. And keep moving through this. Make sure you're not putting pressure on your knees. I need you to stay back in your heels as you're working those triceps, last one. Now place your weights down. You're gonna go back to that sumo really, really wide. Now you're gonna sit down in it. Now what you can do to modify, keep the hands on the hips, move side to side. What I'm gonna do is place the hands back behind me and move side to side. Let's just start that. Feel it in the waist, feel that in the thighs. For your shoes, put on the piece that comes from the good news so that you will be fully prepared, right? Put on the good news, know the word, say the word, pray the word, activate the word in your life. All right, I'm feeling this in my waist. I hope you are too. Keep moving side to side. Again, modification, just place the hands on the hips, 
Just keep those legs still. You're doing a side lean in a sumo squat. One more, and then come together. All right, we're gonna go back to that two-step and knee. Remember that one? Two-step and knee. Lateral movement is so good for the body. It's great for balance and stabilization. It will strengthen your ankles and your feet, and it'll bring awareness to your body as well. You've got to know which direction you're moving. All right, I'm going to add that little shuffle, shuffle, back and forth. Put on salvation as your helmet and take the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. All right, so we know that the word is a sword of the spirit, right? So we've got to know the word, read the word, and just say it. Just let it be active. Like I just said, let it be active in your life. All right, we're almost there. One more. All right, grab your weights again. Going back to that really wide squat. So on this one, we're gonna go down, two, three, lateral raise out. Now here's a modification. Elbows up, okay? Instead of straight arms out. So one, two, three, and out. Pray in the spirit at all times. And on every single occasion, pray. Pray the way that you know how to pray. Ask God to help you pray. Ask the Holy Spirit to pray through you as you pray. So when you're praying with one another, you don't have to know how. You just have to know who will pray through you. And that's God, Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ. All right, a few more of these. Plie pulses, lateral raise, one more. Very nice. Coming up next, we will continue strengthening our spirit, mind, and body on Shape by Faith. This next exercise is a walkout plank. So give yourself some space in front of you. You're gonna go down into a squat, place your hands down, and just inch your way out there. Go into a plank and hold, keep that belly in, and then inch your way back. You can stay down or stand up, okay? So let's do that again. Bring yourself down, hold your position, and then back. All right, good job. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing to you, O Lord. Right? We should be thinking about that all the time. What we say should be pleasing to God. What we do should be pleasing to God. But especially in the words that we say. Hold this right here. Just hold your plank and then lower down. Okay, this next one, grab a weight. What you're gonna do is kneel down, place the hand underneath your shoulder, take the weight in front and row. Just row that arm up and down. May the favor of the Lord our God rest on us, establishing the work of our hands. All right, so you're working through this arm. Now what you can do to progress this, set that one leg back and just go up into a high plank, but you know that you can go down on that knee, all right? Do whatever is best for you. I love the side plank with the row. I love working this entire body. Now think about your breathing. Make sure that it's coming from the diaphragm. It's deeper, it's not real shallow. Let's do this one more time. Very nice, let's go to the opposite side. Same thing, you're gonna go into a kneeling position. Bring that leg out, hand under the shoulder, and just start those rows, just up and down. The peace of Christ will guard your heart and your mind as you live for Him, right? There's nothing like the peace of Christ. Nothing, nothing can compare to it. I mean, you can't conjure it up, you can't make it up. When you're focused in on God, and you wanna please Him in your life, everything you do, that peace, regardless of what's going on in your life, will guard your heart. Now, if you want to progress, go ahead and step it out. 
Breathe, inhale, and exhale. We're almost there. This is great for the entire body, not just the core, but the legs and the shoulders and the chest and the back. Let's do that one more time. All right, let's transition all the way down. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go all the way down and work on the bridge, okay? Um, let's use one weight for this one. So lower yourself down. And what you can do to modify, just keep both feet on the floor. But to progress, just cross one leg over. Bring the arm up and bridge up and lower down and up. And you know that God causes everything to work together for the good of those who love him. All right, so God is working behind the scenes. He's working in front of the scenes. He already knows what's gonna happen. He knows your story. So just trust him. God's gonna work everything out for your good and so that he gets the glory, right? All right, two more of these. Just lift and lower, one more. Okay, let's switch out the legs. Again, if you wanna modify, keep both feet down. But cross that opposite leg, grab both weights. So lift up in a bridge, bring the arms up, fly them out, and then back up. Inhale, lower, and exhale, lift. So be made strong, even in your weakness, by lifting up your hands, your tired hands in prayer and in worship. You know, God does his best work when we are weak because he is so strong. I mean, there's days I just say, Lord, I just, I just don't know, but I know that you do. And you know, there's just something about that, just admitting that you're weak and that you can't do it, but through him, you can. I mean, there's just this divine inner strength that uh, engages your body and your mind and your heart. One more. All right, bring it down. Now, just one weight for this one. So hold the weight, bring it back. Walk the feet out a little bit. Take a deep inhale, bring that belly in. You're gonna come up to a seated position, rotate, and then bring it back. Use your core, come on up and rotate opposite direction. You know, God's word says, don't copy the behavior of the world, the customs of the world, right? And his word says, let God transform you into a new person, right? By changing the way that you think. So that's our prayer. Lord, change us in our thinking. Help us not to imitate the customs of the world. But help us, Father, to go in your direction as you lead us, right? Last one, and then rotate. How'd you do with that? Thank you for allowing me in your home today. I hope you're motivated to continue preparing yourself to be the very best you can be. As we continue exercising and praising God, he will bless our bodies and hearts for his purposes. It is God who breathed us and his spirit he breathed into us so that we can encourage others to live. Until next time, friends, may the Lord bless you and keep you safe, healthy, and strong in your spirit, mind, and body. Hi, I'm Teresa Rowe, the author of Shape by Faith. In my book, I share my stories of heartache and two open heart surgeries, along with my testimony to help encourage readers to never give up and to always trust God. The Shape by Faith fitness section will offer practical fitness advice to help incorporate fitness into your daily life. And finally, Shaped by God, because I strongly believe that fitness and wellness are both physical and spiritual. As a bonus, included with each book is Pilates for the Soul, a faith-based mat workout designed for every level of fitness. Shop shapebyfaith.com for this and many other faith-based products. The website also offers encouraging columns, weight loss testimonials, blogs, radio and television shows, and Shaped by Faith breaks. That's shapedbyfaith.com.